Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with um, day seven of the 25 days of Christmas jewelry tutorials. And today we're gonna make some memory wire bangles. You've seen me doing this before, but not Christmas, so that's today's tutorial. <laughs> um, we will be making this style later in the month again um, with different beads, but today I wanted to use some of these lamp work beads that I got last year. Um, I got them on eBay uh, from a haul, uh, like a, a lot. So I have a bunch of Christmas beads. Um, I wanted to use 12 millimeter pearls, but I couldn't find any in the right green, so I have 10 millimeter. And then I also got out some turquoise, so I don't know if I'll like incorporate that into one of the bracelets. I think I want to make like three bracelets. Um, let's see what else. I, I, I want to put on some charms. I don't have those picked out yet. I might be able to use these charms. Um, got them a couple of years ago for one of the bracelets that I end up using turquoise. Um, and then I wanna use antique brass as the metal. Um, however, I don't have, I, I don't know how this is possible. I don't really have antique brass memory wire. So I have like antique gold. I'll use that for the metal. You're not really gonna see a lot of that. Um, so I'm gonna find some antique brass charms or a tree or something that that'll work with the bracelet okay so these are gold but i thought they were really cute the santa i feel like would go the stocking i would go but not 100 percent sold on those and then i had some antique brass um snowflakes so i think i'm gonna go with these so let's get started i'm just i'm not gonna be super picky about this because i don't know if i already said this and i probably did and that's how tired i am i'm exhausted i just finished another very long video so that's coming soon and i really love it but i wanted to make sure that i didn't miss a day so um let's see this is the strand that i really want to use because i just love that red and green oh this one has some pink on it and I do want to end up making some with some turquoise, so maybe those, actually, I don't know, I don't know, all right, we'll just open them up, get going, get started. Okay, these are like one of the easiest bracelets, uh, most memory wire bracelets, I'm not going to say most, but a lot of memory wire bracelets are really easy, but mine are, this is just a bangle, it's just one wrap. Um, so I don't need a whole lot of beads. Uh, normally if you do a bunch of wraps, it's take eating up a ton of beads. So, um, this is a really pretty bead. Okay. That's good for one. Actually, that's good. And let's see two of these. This is, I think this is my favorite out of that strand. I just, I don't know why, I just love it. I wish I had a whole strand of those. These, these. Okay, so we have four of those. Then I have. So it looks like the most we have are these white and red. This is one that I'm gonna keep by itself. Um, Gosh, I wanted more of these, <laughs> but I don't have them. I th think I'm gonna use the white, some of the whites with the aqua. So four of those. These reds don't match. Okay, and then that's going to be a bracelet. So bracelet, bracelet, bracelet. And then we have leftovers over here if I want to jump and grab anything from that. So um, I think the first one I'm going to start with is this one because it's the easiest looking. Because it's already planned out for me. And um, I don't know that I want to use green pearls with that one. I have some red beads. Oh. Ooh, where did those go? Ooh, I like these. So we might incorporate those as well. I'm gonna open up this strand. I've had these for years and years. I mean, like, before I moved to Arizona, so I don't know where they came from. Possibly dollarbead.com. 
but you know, it, it's almost impossible. Maybe a bead show for me to tell you where I got the pearls. So I'm sorry about that. Normally I'm pretty good about telling you where I get stuff. Um, you want to make sure you have your memory wire cutters out and I'm just going to cut more than I need. Okay. Um, a good thing to have is a wire stopper. So you could use an earring um, back to kind of hold this in place. So something like that to hold your beads in. You can use a stopper, you can use a piece of tape, whatever works for you. So I'm gonna start with one of these little guys. My goodness, those are all stuck together. Okay, and I need my bead caps. So I think I will use per, uh, pearls and crystals on this one. And I don't know if these bead, I think these bead caps are a little too big for these pearls eh, might be okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see. <laughs> I haven't decided. and then I will just keep going um, and put a crystal on the inside of each one of these beads. So here's the first one. I'm I'm liking it more than when I started. Um, I wasn't too jazzed about it, but I actually think it's going to be really cute, especially when I start stacking it. So I'm going to set that aside and then I'm going to do the others. We're going to do all the clasps at the same time. Um, so the next one, I'm not going to use these red crystals again. The next one is just going to be these beads and pearls. Um, I don't want to use these bead caps. I'm going to find a different bead cap or a spacer bead. Okay, well I didn't find any <laughs> that were any better than that um, that I actually wanted to use in this project. So no worries, I'm just going to um, use those same spacers or same bead caps. Uh, I'm going to start with pearl this time. I can, I'm going to put seed beads or not seed beads, um, like a spacer at the end to close off the bracelet. So start with this. Um, this one's not really gonna have like a a middle. I don't really know how to explain it. I don't have like a focal for this one, I guess is what I'm saying. Actually, I can make one of these just the focal and then I'll have an extra one left. Both of these are finished. I am gonna actually hold off on this one and do a different video with that. I think it might be the same style, but I, I wanna make some matching jewelry with it. And I'm tired, <laughs> I know. I'm not trying to get sympathy, but it's just like, wow, I, I hit a wall. So um, we have two really cute bracelets and I'm just gonna finish them off. So to do that, I am going to create some simple loops. So um, on, oh, the beads are falling off of that one. <laughs> that I just did and okay so I'm just going to start on the end I guess that is a shorter I'm just gonna start on this end okay so I'm just going to um, curl a simple loop you can curl it in you can curl it out whatever works for you today I think I'm just gonna curl in 
curl under, whatever you want to call it. Okay, just like that. And I'm curling it around to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to trim with my memory wire cutters. And I'm also going to add a charm. Oh, that went flying. Well, sometimes you need some protective gear for your eyes when you're making jewelry. <laughs> All right, so that's in. Um, and, oh no, pieces are falling off. Okay, so I'm gonna slide it down. We're okay. And then I am just going to snip. Now you want to make sure you don't do these too tight. If you curl them too tight, your bracelets are not going to move very well. And you could crack some beads too if you're doing it too. Um, you're uh, making the beads too tight on the wire. So I'm just going to scroll down like that. Scroll down. I don't know what else, whether I'm, I'm, I'm slap happy at this point, I don't know what else to call it. And then um, I am going to, you could absolutely just wear it like this as a bangle. I'm going to put a um, toggle on here and a um, charm, but let's do this one that fell apart first. Okay, so um, for the charm part of my bracelet, I'm just going to use one, this one on that one, and then this one on this one. And um, you can put the charms anywhere on the bracelet. I'm going to put it down here, but you can absolutely hook one in on the side or in the front, wherever you want to go. Um, I'm going to use these um, antique brass toggles. I don't have any that are Christmassy, but I think these go okay because I used some kind of like scrolly beads and um, bead caps. So I think we're good. And I am just going to attach everything. You can attach directly onto your loops if you'd like. It's a little easier for me to just use jump rings to be honest. And I'm noticing in my haste, I did not trim one of these very well right here. So I don't want to get stabbed. <laughs> so I'll just trim that a little bit more. I don't, it's going to be difficult because trimming with memory wire, they're so clunky. You see how chunky those are? Um, another idea it could be is just move this out a little bit if it doesn't, if I can't really get in there very well. There we go. All right, so just moved it towards the, the side and I'll keep going. Okay, so I put the charm on this bracelet already. And there's our first bangle. Very cute. Actually, really love it. I wasn't feeling it when I first did it, but then I, I kind of started really liking that one. But this one's my favorite. And they're so comfortable. I just put this one on for a minute, and it was really, really nice. So, put um, put this by the clasp. There we go. This one's got a chonky little charm, but I love it. I love it. Maybe I'll make um, something that matches these later on in the month. So here are two bracelets and they're gorgeous and I can stack these with multiple other bracelets. I could just make a plain pearl bracelet to stack with them if I wanted, but they're gorgeous. I'm super happy and I'm super tired <laughs> and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye.
we go with the ducky. Look at you. It is cold this morning. That's why you have your blankie, right? But now it's not so cold. It's still chilly. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yes, a good girl. Hi, good girl. Hi, good girl. I love you, buddy. Yes, you do. You're such a good girl. Yeah.